10 Natural Ways to Boost Your Happy Hormone, Dopamine Want to be happier? What if the solution can be found in your body's hormones and neurotransmitters, like dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin, commonly known as the happy hormones? To find happiness, you just need to give them a little boost, but how? Find out, it's easier than you might think. Number 10. Get a Massage Who doesn't like to get a massage? It's so relaxing and great for your back. Massages are also good for your brain, according to this study. Researchers found that massages reduce cortisol levels, the stress hormone, by 31% and increase serotonin and dopamine levels by 28% and 31%, respectively. Number 9. Drink green tea. Haven't tried green tea yet? Here's a great reason to start. In one study, researchers found that L-theanine, an amino acid found in green tea, has a relaxing effect on the body. How? By increasing the activity of alpha waves in the brain. Not only will drinking green tea reduce your stress levels, it will also help you feel happier, as the tea's relaxing effect will increase the concentration of serotonin and dopamine in your body. Number 8. Soak up some rays. Like it or not, the weather can influence your mood. You're much more likely to be in a good mood on a beautiful sunny day than if it's pouring rain, and there's a reason for that. According to this study, there's a link between the sun and the serotonin produced by your brain. This, among other reasons, is why there are more accounts of depression and suicide during the winter months. The lack of sunshine during these months reduces the production of this happy hormone. Number 7. Listen to music. When it comes to music, your taste is a personal choice. But whether you like classical, jazz, or rap, if you want to be happy, crank up your favorite tunes on a regular basis. According to this study, the intense pleasure that you experience while listening to your favorite music stimulates the production of dopamine in your brain. Number 6. Eat more carbs. Carbohydrates have a bad rap these days. But according to this study, carbs can actually have a positive influence on your mood. Researchers have discovered that excessive intake of carbohydrates by women with premenstrual syndrome and by people with seasonal affective disorder worked as a kind of self-medication, increasing the concentration of serotonin in their bodies, almost like taking natural antidepressants. A word of warning, though, too many carbs can be fattening, so choose healthy foods like whole wheat bread and quinoa. Number 5. Practice Yoga. Yoga offers a myriad of health benefits. Among other things, it reduces the risk of heart disease, and lowers blood pressure. One study also showed that women who practice yoga regularly, were more content with their lives, in a better mood, less stressed, and less anxious than others. In short, they were happier. In another study, scientists concluded that yoga increases the levels of estrogen in postmenopausal women. Estrogen combats anxiety and irritability, while increasing the production of serotonin. Number 4. Exercise. Exercising doesn't just protect you from a range of illnesses, it can also put you in a better mood. Many studies have shown the benefits of physical activity of serotonin, and dopamine levels in your body. According to one study, you can even reap the benefits of running up to two hours later. Time to lace up those runners. Number 3. Drink cow's milk. Cow's milk contains alpha-lactalbumin, a whey protein. By studying people who have a diet rich in alpha-lactalbumin, researchers concluded that this protein can increase cognitive performance, in people who are vulnerable to stress. How? By increasing the levels of tryptophan and serotonin in the brain. Number 2. Get Psychotherapy. This scientific article suggests that since serotonin affects mood, and mood affects serotonin, a therapy session can increase serotonin levels and in turn, affect your mood in a positive way. In other words, because therapy makes you feel better, it indirectly increases your serotonin concentration. Number 1. Hug. Hugging is more than just a way of showing affection to your partner, it's also great for your physical and mental health, and it's free. Researchers studied 59 premenopausal women and concluded that those who frequently hugged their partners had lower blood pressure and higher oxytocin levels than the norm. Are you visiting my channel for the first time, then click the subscribe and click the bell icon to watch more videos.